pass. Give me the hospital. Ambassador Mark Lippert, moments after being attacked by a knife-wielding assailant at a conference in downtown Seoul. Oh! The assailant, a radical Korean nationalist, screamed South and North Korea should be reunified as he slashed away with a 10-inch knife, finally wrestled to the ground by local police and bystanders. He was identified by authorities as Kim Ki-jong. They say he's told them he acted alone. Ambassador Lippert was rushed to a hospital, bleeding heavily, and got 80 stitches to close wounds on his face and arm. North Korea actually hailed the incident, calling it the knife attack of justice. The U.S. and South Korea are conducting joint military exercises this week. But the real issue, security. Lippert had just one unarmed local bodyguard. How would one of our ambassadors be stabbed multiple times who has had to fend off the attacker himself and there was nobody close enough to help him? That's, that's just inexcusable. Tonight, Ambassador Lippert is in stable condition in the hospital where he is expected to remain for several days. But once again, this attack shows no matter where, every American ambassador is a potential target. David? Terry Moran tonight. Terry, thank you. And back here at home now into the firestorm over.